And then I found a bunch of these Life Nature Library books. They had a bunch of them. I got like, there's still more there. I got the sea, the mammals, the fishes, yet there's no ES in fish, so that always drives me nuts when they do that. Um, evolution, uh, Tropical Asia, and Africa. Um, I'm trying to remember what the other two. There was like one that was on primates, but they didn't have really good pictures in it. And then there was a reptile one, which just had like snakes in it. More, They didn't have much... Um, lizards in there. It was mostly all snakes and I wasn't huge over the pictures in that one so I got one, two, three, four, five, six of them and again these were 50 cents so it cost me three dollars for all six of them. Let's start with the Africa one. Land and Wildlife. Looks like there's a paper in here. Fold out. Do not tear. Oh there's a fold out here. How cool is that? Look at the illustration in that. So cool. Oh wow, look at the horns on that thing, that is awesome. I didn't see that in there the first time. Oh my goodness, look at all these stamps, oh, but somebody drew on them with a marker. Unless that was, oh no, these are like ones that were stamped. Okay, nobody wrote on this. It was like the already used stamps, you know? Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to fussy cut all them out and use them. Oh my goodness, this was worth 50 cents just for this. Oh my goodness. I am in love with every single one of these. Look at those monkeys. And then the crane. Oh my god. This is amazing, those flowers. Oh my goodness, the butterflies. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, I'm in love. And then this is a cool map too of Africa. That's the very last page. I guess they saved the best for last. In the back they have this elephant here. All right, let's start from the beginning again. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like the texture of this. It's really thick. I'll definitely use that. You, you can find more books to go by the siding. Mm -hmm. um, looks like 1964. And you can see the beautiful aging on here. Oh, look at this picture of this giraffe. Discovering of Africa. That is a great picture. I have to fussy cut that giraffe out. You know, it's a big picture, but it's so stinking cute. And then I can cut out these uh, gentlemen out too and use for like another spot. That is so cool. So yeah, this is when they first discovered Africa. And like this is like animals they found in there. Oh, look at all the colors in here. This is pretty cool. Hmm, I might have to read some of this. Look at those elephants in the museum. Um, oh, African Hall of the American Museum of National History. My dad and I wanted to see this so bad, but when we went to DC, they had this closed because they were doing, um, you know the movie Night at the Museum? They were doing the second one, and so they were ha they had this one closed, and we were so mad because we wanted to go in there so bad. Ah, oh, I'm mad now. Because, <laughs> yeah, I could have seen that. I want to see American Museum of National History. Whoa, that's so cool. Ooh, look at this map. Look at all those vibrant colors. And they got trees. Oh my god, I love this. I'm loving this one. Look at those flamingos. Life of the Lakes and River. Oh my god, look at that little um froggy on that lily. Oh my gosh. And that little one. Oh my goodness. This is so awesome. They got black and white or photos. Look at those hippos. Ooh, some fishies. Oh, um, these ones, they swim upside down. Um, upside down catfish. One of six species in Africa. Seems to prefer swimming on its back, but usually feeds right side up. Sweeping the bottom with three pairs of sensitive whiskers. 
You know, because most fish, they can't swim upside down because when they do, then they lose their balance and then they can die because of that. But those ones, they can. They're really cool to watch. Oh, look at those birds. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love these guys. I know they look scary and some think they're ugly, but I think they're so cool. Shoebill stork. I think they are so much, and they're huge. Oh my God. And then there's the, um, what is it, crowned cranes? Yeah. Look at that crocodile. <laughs> yeah, and here it shows how, um, Giraffes, they have that like sponge in their head so that the water doesn't get to their brain when they go down to drink water. Uh, this is such a great book. And here it shows the different um, like hoofed animals and like how their hoofs are to help them walk. Oh, look at that picture. And that one. Ah, these are such great pictures. <laughs> look at that one eating. Isn't that funny? And this would be a great picture too. Uh, I'm loving. Oh my God! Look at this. Is this amazing or what? The phone. <laughs> Multiple solutions of a single problem. <laughs> Look at the horns on that thing. Giant sable, white bearded wildebeest, impalas. Wow. That's a great picture to use. Ooh, and then here's all the different patterns the common giraffe, the reticulated giraffe, <laughs> different types of zebras. Oh my goodness. Look at that rhino. These are great. I'm so glad I got this one. Look at those cheetahs. Give me that little picture. Mama, Look at the eyes on that. The large hooked beak of the Marshall Eagle can tear a carcass in half if it is too heavy to be carried to the nest. Its owner is the most powerful predator bird on the open savanna. Whoa, look at that. An African view of the rainforest. <laughs> look at that overview. It looks like moss growing from like above, but that's all rainforest. The tropical rainforest. Look at the birds living inside there. This is amazing. Apaki or pak? Is that how you say apaki? I can never pronounce them right. Look at this black and white photo. Oh my god, look at this bird. Look at that froggy. That's such a great one. The hairy frog. Ooh, and look at those little drawings of the plants. And that bird. This is amazing. I'm going to be using a lot of this. Oh my goodness. Look at those flowers. Look at this whole page. Oh my gosh. And this would be great to put on top of like envelopes inside of junk journals. Oh my. Oh my god, look at the lemur. These little pictures here are so cute. These would be great for tags and stuff. Oh, and there's trees. Oh my goodness. Look at that frog and those bugs. Look at them. They're like fuchsia and the gecko. Oh my goodness. The orange frog. When disturbed, these small sap sucking bugs known as flatteds fall away like rose petals from branches. These fall off so it looks like rose petals falling from the trees. How crazy is that? 
Ooh, look at this illustration. Oh my God, look at the tortoise. And the dodo birds, oh my goodness. Ah, it looks like a goose of some sort, the hippo. Oh my God. It looks like an emu. And there's like a kiwi there, it looks like. Oh my goodness. These are all extinct animals though. Wow, look at that bird. Ugh, love it. Ugh, that's kind of scary. That scares me. But yeah, that was definitely, definitely worth the 50 cents. This is amazing. I can't wait to see this in the other ones. That one was just the land and wildlife of Africa. This one is the land and wildlife of tropical Asia. This one's got a snake in the back. And then it looks like a rhino there. This one's pretty crisp. Like this one feels like it wasn't even open. Like look how good the edges are. They're a little worn, but overall this one's in really good condition. Like I can't even open it all the way. This one looks like 1964 as well. There's an interesting picture. I don't know if this is a painting or what, but it says arms of out arms outflung. The wife of the Hindu god Vish, Vishnu is depicted in an 18th century miniature listening to the sweet, sweet rumbling of thunder announcing the arrival of the life-giving monsoon. It's interesting colors in it though. Looks like there's like cranes flying. Hmm. When the rain came, come. There's that bird again. So this shows the monsoons of tropical Asia. That's interesting. I've never seen a map like this. Huh. Oh, look at the little guys, look at those big guys. Some interesting plants. Ooh, froggies. The flying frog. Ooh, look at that birdie. Those are awesome. Here's the roots of some of the trees, some fishies. That's some nice photos, I like that sunset. <laughs> the fastest fish on land. They're so cool to watch. Ooh, and some crabs. Look at all the different type of crabs. Oh my goodness. Yep. I'm gonna use those. That's a nice picture. Um, some more plants. These are cool. Oh my god, look at him. He is so adorable. Oh my gosh. A young orang shows an engaging grin and playful manner that makes him so desired as a pet. I wouldn't recommend him as a pet, but he is pretty stinking cute. And then watch them like how they hang from their hands and feet from tree to tree. <laughs> oh my god, look at that guy. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at that birdie. That one's pretty. So yeah, this one has a lot of black and white photos in it. That's interesting flower. Um, there's those moths again. Ooh, look at all those butterflies. A tiger. Here's some more paintings it looks like. And like this is how they decorate elephants. Oh wow, look at that. Look how low down those horns go. Animal of many uses. Some pretty birds. She's pretty. Look at these, like, they look like weaved baskets. And they're like little boats. They're paddling away and collect catching fish. That is so crazy. Look at that. I wish this was in color instead of black and white. 
It's not as great as the Africa one, but it was definitely worth it. Um, this one's of Evolution. And this one has a skeleton in the back. So this one has a lot of um, prehistoric ones, I think. And oh, what is it? There was a picture. Actually, what year is this one? I think this one's 64 too. Yeah, this one's 1964 as well. That's really cool. I know there was a picture of Darwin in here. It was a really awesome photo of him. There's a tortoise. Ooh, look at those birds. And then all the different um, birds of the finch. I remember that. The pigeons. Peacock. Look at those flowers. <laughs> Owl, how they have like similarities to look, you know, camouflaged. And then, um,. These bees, they have yellow on the head, so it looks like the pollen. And then this looks like um, the pokey parts on like roses, but actually that's a bug right there. That's how they camouflage. I know I had there's a really awesome picture of Darwin in here. Maybe I passed it. Ah, there it is. Darwin's Voyage into the Past. That's a really awesome picture of him. Some albino animals. That's crazy. Uh, Man-made evolution from making plants. And look at all those flowers. Isn't that pretty? Uh, and this one, look at all the dogs. So I'm gonna have to use this for the dog junk journal. The genealogy of the dog. Now this would actually be kind of cool too because the colors. That is a giant fly. I don't think I want to use a fly, but you know, you can always punch things out and no one would have an idea. Like you can actually punch a heart out of here and it would actually look kind of cool. You would have no idea that it was a fly's eye. But this color kind of looks cool. Could do letters or something. Ooh, there's some really cool shells. Um, horses as they evolved. Look at this fossil here. And that one's like a dragonfly. A fragile dragonfly 150 million years ago. During the Jurassic era. These are stony sea lilies. That's crazy. This one, they're digging up a Camarasaurus backbone. <laughs> Some dino eggs. Look at those dinosaurs. That's cool. There's actually quite a few dinos in here. Aww. Look at you. You're so cute. This would actually be cool to use in a junk journal. Oh, apparently this is the colors of human skin range in color. From almost pure white to jet black, as shown in the ceramic tiles of the Lachon scale. Each variation is caused by a special combination of the genes which affect skin color. Alrighty. And you remember seeing this, like this one says, was it 29, 45, 26? I remember seeing these. But yeah, it just shows, you know, evolution throughout the years. That's kind of scary. <laughs> but yeah, I still think the African one's the best one. Ooh, and then this one's the fishes. And then I assume there's a fish in the back. Yep. I love the texture of these first pages here. This one's a later one. This one's 1970. But look at these, these are great seahorses. Oh, and this one's um, the lakes in the winter. See, so it has like perch and trout and stuff. And then it shows them um, in the summer, 
like the lake trouts are still on the bottom, but like the white fish are further up, the bull heads, the catfish, the bass, the bluegills, or bills, bluegill sunfish. <laughs> So yeah, it looks like they got salt water and fresh water. Yeah, fresh water fish and then salt water fish to show like which ones are how high and how low in the water. Oh my goodness, look at this though. This is great. I definitely have to use like the whole page of this. This is all fresh water. Look at the little turtle. Yeah, it's got bass, it's got perch, it's got bluegills, it's got pike, trout. Oh, so then this one's underwater, um, salt water. Oh my goodness. I'll have to use like this page and then maybe these two pages. These ones are so cool because don't they look just like a stone or whatnot? But they're, um, the ye yellow angler. They're so cool. See his little eye there and there's his mouth and there's his fin. They're so cool. And they kind of like, if I remember right, they kind of like stand on their fins. These are so cool. Oh, here's those, um, what do they call them? I think like archer fish or something like that. What do they call them? Yeah, the archer fish. They spit out water to hit bugs to make them fall into the water and then they eat them. They're so cool. Oh, and this shows um, how um, the scales on the fish, they grow. Just like how tree trunks, you know, how you can see the rings in tree trunks to see how old the tree is. Well, that's the same with the fish's scales. And this shows how they swim. These are the different type of sh scales. Oh my goodness. And then this is like the different type of eyes on different fishes. Different fish. How a fish sees. And like this is like the different type of mouths that they have, like a sucker, um, this is a beak-like jaw. Wow, these are so cool. Some goldfish, that's pretty. I'm loving these pictures that they do on the sides. They're going to be great embellishments. Those are um, sharks' uh, eggs, and there's some sharks down there, stingrays. The anatomy of a shark. Oh, look at those little puffer fish. Those are those porcupine puffer fish. Look at all those pretty fish. Ooh, and some seahorses. And like, here's like the food chain. Like this one eats this, 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 you know. The mackerel shark eats the cod, the cod eats the heron, the heron eats the animal planktons, which eats the plant planktons. That's really interesting. Yeah, there's some great pictures of different fish in here. Salt water and fresh water. This is a pretty good picture. Illustration. They even show how the, um, boats catch fish in the nettings, different types. But yeah, that one's not bad. I like that one. Of the, all different type of fish, salt water and fresh water. Um, this one's mammals. This one's seen better days. Um, this one looks like they're wolf packs. Like the mama wolf with babies. Is my thing going to focus? Isn't that cute? But yeah, this one is falling apart. There's actually some pages missing in here, sadly. But I had to get it. It's only 50 cents. Again, the same paper. I don't know which year this one is. This one looks like 1972. Um, but yeah, see how it's already coming apart? And there's like this glue stuff coming out. And some of them are already coming out in sections. But there are some pages missing, sadly. 
but it was still worth it. Like, look at this. This is awesome. Like the carnivoras and stuff in here, the primates. How abundant are mammals as a class? So, you know, how many, you know, bats compared to um, badgers and rabbits, you know, to rodents. And then, um, like amphibians versus mammals, reptiles, birds, fish, um, invertebrates, and then insects. That is a really pretty butterfly. Some dolphins and some walruses. So keep, but yeah, this is where my pages were missing. So all the pages from 29 to 52 are missing, which is sad because that's quite a few pages. But here it shows some like prehistoric, how elephants, you know, from the beginning to prehistoric to current. And this shows how horses move compared to cheetahs, how they run. See, there's how their skeleton or their spine is when they're running kind of cool there's camel and a horse this is really awesome it's um the slowest to fastest top speed of animals like here they're at zero miles per hour um like the turtle and stuff and then 10 miles per hour they got like bees flying uh um, camel and elephants you know they got some dolphins and sea turtles and whales and then um 20 miles per hour 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour, 60, 70, 80, 90 to 100. <laughs> animals in the air, land, and water. And it has all the names of all the different animals in there. Isn't that awesome? Look at these. This is great. All the different antlers and horns. The growth of antlers and the growth of horns. That's awesome. little guys how they change color from like what they look like in April May and then October and November of the weasels coat nice tiger look at this this is like the beavers dam and stuff that's so cool look at those giraffes love life <laughs> that'd be cool to cut out too Oh, look at the elephant seals. And the little giraffe. <laughs> There's even raccoons. Oh my god, look at all of those possums. <laughs> That's a lot. And like how the armadillo is like a shield, and then, um, what do you call them? Warthogs. Oh my goodness, look at them. <laughs> They're so funny. So, that one's not too bad, even though it's <laughs> falling apart and does not make me feel bad tearing this one apart since it's already falling apart and missing pages. And then this one is the sea. Of course, I had to get this one. And this one has a seahorse in the back. Love it. Great paper right here. I love this. <clears throat> this one is 1973. This one look, feels like it's hardly been used, opened. Feels really stiff, you know, still. Hmm, that's a really cool picture. I mean, there's different uh, sponges. Worms. Jellyfish. This is really cool. Boom. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. And it has the name for all the different corals and everything in here. Looks like a hermit crab in there. 
There's crap there. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, and look at this. Oh my, and I have to decide which side. So this is like top of the water and you know, further you go down and down and down. Oh my goodness, this is great. You know, actually I could cut this here and then, you know, this is already creased here to use as one whole page right here. So it would be already in there and then I can use these two parts as like extra pages. I think that's what I'll do. Oh my goodness, look at that fish. The North Atlantic, a weird landscape of the ridge and rift. <laughs> they even said it was weird. It is kind of weird though. Different. And then this is the lower part of it, the South Atlantic. Mountains and silted plains. Deepest trenches and tallest peaks. The South Pacific, a gigantic range of a mighty trench. Hmm. So yeah, that shows like underwater, how high and how low. That is really cool. That's a really cool map. Rivers in the sea. Some really cool fish. Is that all eyes? This is a picture of 32 blue eyes ring, the shell of a common scallop. They are very similar to basic structure to human eyes. That is so crazy. And there's like an octopus eye. Like this one's showing, you know, if you see those fins, which ones you're actually seeing. Evil looking fins. And this one's actually a pretty cool picture or illustration. Ooh, and look at all those sharks. This is torn though, that's sad. But there's some really cool sharks. Some dolphins. Ooh, and I love this picture of all the whales. Right whale, uh, finner whale, blue whale, sperm whale and humpback whale. That is great. I love that. So yeah, it was definitely, definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, that's all, finally, all the books that I found at that um, thrift store. I love that store. I definitely want to go there again. Um, out of all the books, I think my favorite one is the African one and then this Garden Birds one. I think are two of my favorite ones out of all of them. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little book haul I got as much as I did. If so, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later, everyone. Bye.